Hi everyone. Um, sorry, I'm trying to multitask here. Um, but I just wanted to come on and say hello to you guys online. Um, I've been having a lot of interesting conversations today with people from around the world. Um, and I just have to say, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for everybody that I get to speak with. Um, I just realized today I've spent most of the day talking with people, either online or on the phone, having actual voice conversations. I know it's a weird concept, um, but I, I recognize like how how much that is a contribution to me. So thank you to all of you guys that are engaging <laughs> with me and with each other around the world. Um, but I just wanted to do this live today. Hi, Yonella. Hi, Trisha. Um, because one of the things that I was looking at with uh, some of the amazing people that work with me on my business is the topic of what if you're not wrong. Now, I know that most of the videos that I do allude to this in one way or another because with Access Consciousness, really everything is about empowering you to know that you know and to know that you might not be as messed up as you think you are. Um, but in a lot of the conversations that I've had today with people from Russia, the US, Latin America, Europe, like so many different places, uh, the, the thing that's been coming up for people is this uh, kind of overwhelming sense of wrongness about themselves, about what they're choosing, what they're doing, perhaps not feeling good enough, or feeling like you perhaps have just gone over the line so there's no way to go back, you know, like maybe you just haven't done something you, you wanted to do and now it's been too long and now you don't know how to get back to doing it or, you know, whatever that is for you. So I, I just wanted to address that today because one of the, the things that, oh Lord, where to begin? So many things I can say about this. Um, one of my targets with the work that I do is for people to not judge themselves as wrong. Pretty simple target, although not very simple because, you know, people love to judge themselves a lot, uh, me included. Hi Nancy, hi Elsin. Hi, Luciana and Malin. <laughs> um, and and it's, it's really interesting because we tend to forget that we are so much more than just our body. Now, the, the reason that I say that is because you can walk around and you can take everything at face value and you can only allow yourself to accept as part of your reality the things that you're seeing with your eyes, the things that you're hearing with your ears or... It's not actually with your ears, but you know what I mean. Um, you can really just kind of only go for like the visceral, physical things that are going on for you. Or you can start to acknowledge that perhaps there's a lot more to your awareness than just what meets the eye, so to speak. Um, and it's really, really interesting because now during this time of lockdown where everybody's at home and everybody's having, hi Sam, <laughs> everyone's having to kind of really be really present with themselves. I want to ask you, have you acknowledged how much more aware you are than perhaps you were allowing yourself to be before? For me personally, um, before COVID-19, there was a level of autopilot that I was functioning from that I didn't even really recognize I was functioning from because guess what? When you're limited in an area, you don't realize that you're limited in that area. You're just continuing with your life thinking that that's the way that things are and so although you know I've said it on several videos recently although I would travel and you know I've got my businesses and all this stuff there was still predictability with it um, and then when I had to stop and just be at home with myself there was no escaping myself um, and I'm sure this applies to a lot of you guys too which is why I'm bringing it up but how much have you actually become way more present with you with what's true for you, what isn't working for you, and also with perhaps a lot of the sense of wrongness and self-judgment that you've had that hasn't been so up in your face because you were distracted by all of the autopilot stuff of every day. Now, I say this because I really would like to highlight what if there is nothing wrong with that, okay? What if you having a sense of wrongness of you or a sense of self-judgment is not wrong? What if it's just something that's going on for you right now? And what if the fact that you're aware of it means that you can actually choose something different? One of the main reasons that we don't choose something different is because we refuse to look at the lies that are creating that thing as a limitation in our lives. So you can 
start to recognize, okay, I'm judging myself in this area. And rather than go into this black hole of depression of, oh my God, I'm so terrible, I'm so bad. Start asking questions, okay? Because questions are the way to get out of that and questions are the way to turn that around. Um, and the, the amazing thing about awareness and the amazing thing about self-judgment and just all of this stuff and the access tools is that it really isn't linear. So if you have been judging yourself for the last four weeks, like a crazy maniac and you just think you're the worst pile of crap, sorry for the rude word, um, the worst pile of crap in the world, it doesn't mean it's gonna take that amount of time to undo it, okay? It literally just takes one choice in that moment. So a question that um, my dear, 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 one of my closest friends, Claudia Cano, um, loves and has given me several times is, if there were no right and there were no wrong, what choice would I have here? So what if you started asking yourself that for everything? Um, I was speaking with a friend last night who had been judging himself for a lot of stuff and um, every single thing that came up, it was like, okay, and who cares? All right, so this hasn't shown up the way you thought it would. Okay, so you're feeling bad about this. Okay, so if there were no right and there were no wrong, would that be relevant? Would you have to judge yourself or what other choices would you have? And it doesn't mean dismiss what's going on for you and disregard it like it's not valid. That's not what this is about, but it's about acknowledging what it is that's going on for you, shining a light on it and going, okay, maybe I am feeling terrible about myself. Maybe I am a complete failure. And if there were no right and there were no wrong and I wasn't judging myself or this situation, what choices would I have? Now, this is so simple, guys, like so simple. And sometimes it helps to have somebody else um, do this with you but the more you can actually sit there and be present with every single thing that's coming up for you the easier it can be to really change it because the one time that we like I said that we can't change something is when we're not acknowledging the lies that we're functioning from and I say lies because if you've watched any of my videos or if you know any of the access consciousness tools and if you don't get to know them because they're amazing um, you will know that anything that is heavy is something that is not true it's something that's a lie that's your like energetic compass telling you, hey, dude, this isn't real. This is a lie. Oh, hi, Tatiana. Um, and anything that's light is something that's true. So have you noticed that when you're in self-judgment and when you're thinking that you're just like a pile of crap, is that ever light? Not really, right? It doesn't give you a sense of expansion like, oh, I'm so relaxed now. Like, you know, there's such a sense of peace and ease in my world. No, it does the opposite. It starts getting you in your head. You start kind of getting contracted um, and it's subtle. It can be really, really subtle. So you just are sliding down the rabbit hole really subtly and you don't notice until you're right at almost at rock bottom and you're like, what the heck happened? Well, it's that. So what if at that point you can look at each one of those situations and be totally present with it so that you are, like I said, just acknowledging what is, have that level of presence with yourself, and you can turn this around in a couple of minutes. Um, and I just wanted to bring that up because I've got an X-Men class coming up this weekend. For those of you who've done the Access Foundation, you are invited, and you're still invited if you haven't, only but is one of the prereqs, so maybe for a future class. <laughs> um, but very often when we are about to um, change something big in our lives, what comes up is a lot of crap. Have you ever noticed that? It's like you're about to change something and you can kind of feel it coming, but if you're not acknowledging that you are a person that is aware of more than just what's directly in front of you, you know, like I said before, you're, that you're way more aware than just what you're seeing, what you're hearing in the moment, but you're actually energetically aware. If you're not acknowledging that, how much are you going to then instantaneously start judging yourself and thinking that there's something wrong when you have all of those different um, energies and things come up? So you want to ask as well, like, what is it that I'm aware of here? What am I perceiving? Because very, very often you're actually going to be aware of something. That's You can call it your gut feeling, your intuition, whatever you want to call it, but that's actually you. That's your awareness telling you, hey, something's coming. And especially when you are somebody who's you know, into like self-development, which I'm obviously super into. If you're into um, choosing more consciousness, so to be more conscious in your daily choices, be more aware, not functioning on autopilot, then what's gonna happen is you are gonna ex be expanding your awareness. And that means all of your awareness. It doesn't mean that you're gonna be walking down the road and everything's gonna be like, you know, flowers and rainbows all the time. No, it's like if you've got 
perfect 2020 vision and if you've got vision that's beyond 2020 you're going to see a lot of stuff that other people can't see so number one would you be willing to be present with it without judging you to ask a question like what is this what am i actually aware of and if there were no right or wrong what choices would i have available just ask yourself that you don't need to come up with an answer but asking yourself that opens that door now so now in your world there is that possibility that's starting to open up um, and three, really start to recognize, okay, so what am I aware of? What am I actually choosing or stepping into here? Because how much have you actually already changed during this time of lockdown, lockdown sorry, that you haven't acknowledged? How many of you have been way more present with you, way more present with the choices that you're making? Like I mentioned earlier, way more present with what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And have you acknowledged that that's actually a pretty big choice to make? that most people wouldn't, you know, most people would still try and distract themselves with, you know, day-to-day -day things. And that's not wrong, but it's just, you know, a different choice. But if you have been willing to be more present with yourself, have you acknowledged that? Have you acknowledged, okay, do you know what? What have I changed that I haven't acknowledged? What have I been willing to be vulnerable with myself about that I haven't acknowledged? You know, and the more that you do that, the easier it's going to be to get out of wrongness. Because when you don't acknowledge, when you change something, it will very often feel like wrongness in your world. And it's so easy to go into that autopilot of self-judgment. But what if just having that tool and that question, if there were no right, no wrong, what would I choose? What choice would I have available? What if that's one of the ways that you can start to get out of that? Um, so I just wanted to share that tool with you guys because it's simple and as are all the access consciousness tools, it works. Um, but also hopefully it will start to give you more of a sense of you. <laughs> it's so funny, yes, Tatiana and Simone, it's so true. It's like trying to recognize who you were a couple of months before, really different to now. So what gift is that? And what if we all started to acknowledge all of those changes that we have been choosing? Um, because you're choosing it guys. It's like, if you're choosing change in your life, could you acknowledge the courage that it takes and the vulnerability that it takes? And could you perhaps not beat yourself up so much about it, but really go into question? Because again, any time that you're functioning from a lie is when it starts to feel heavy and contracted. And that's when you go into the depression, into the anxiety, into the sadness. And, you know, I've spoken a lot about the tool, who does this belong to? And uh, Dr. Dane here has a great video on YouTube. Please check it out. Just search it on YouTube. Who does this belong to? That's going to be one of your first go-to tools if you're going into wrongness. Um, but also acknowledging what it is that you've already changed and what it is that you're aware of. Um, because otherwise, things can get kind of crazy especially right now because everybody's at home everybody's a lot more present with themselves do you think you might be a little bit more aware do you think you might be a bit more aware of the people that you're in the same space with do you think you might be a little bit more aware of the people down your street of the town that you're living in the city that you're in everyone's point of view the country that you're in even the world how much more present are we all with everything that's going on in the different countries because we're not only looking at the news, but we're actually kind of like energetically allowing ourselves to tap into that information. It's kind of like when you're just distracted because you're in a rush, you don't even notice that your kids or the people around you have, you know, whatever it is that they're doing. But when you've just got to be more present with nothing to do, everything is like on loudspeaker or, with, or it's like being magnified by a magnifying glass. That's what is going on right now for so many of us. So could you acknowledge, please, you in all of that and acknowledge that you might not be as messed up as you think you are it might be that your awareness is now heightened because you are more present with everything and what if that's not wrong what if that's a huge capacity and how can you use that capacity to your advantage how can you use that to create greater and create greater ease and those are the questions that you want to be asking so i wanted to share that with you guys today um, and invite you as well to the x-men class if you'd like to come along this weekend um, and please ask those questions and just know that going into the wrongness of you is never true it's always an invention it's always a lie which is why it feels so heavy okay so <laughs> thank you so much you guys thanks for watching if you've liked this video please share um please hit like and post some comments below and i look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow actually i have another facebook live i'm going to be talking about bodies and the contribution that they are so see you all tomorrow Bye bye